Here comes Halloween. Here comes Halloween. So yeah, today's the last day of September. Here comes the big October event, and it's time to continue our annual tradition that is only annual now because I'm actually doing it again. Because before was the first time, but also it's not really established as a tradition. I just kind of did it that one time and never talked about whether or not, I don't think I even talked about what the idea of doing it again, but I think I'm going to do it again and I'm going to go harder. Uh, so last year for Halloween, I played Silent Hill. It's not really, not really an event necessarily. It's just, you know, I timed it and I was like, this makes sense. Let's do a little horror game. Let's play one of the horror games for, for Halloween. Made sense to me. Uh, I want to go harder this Halloween. I want to, I want October to be even more horror filled than before. Cause it's a fun excuse to delve into a genre I do not engage with as actively in part because it frankly does take like a whole year for a handful of decent things to come out within the entry. And also cause it's not largely the thing that I do on the channel, but uh, I think people generally enjoy it. Just the, the tone shift and me generally behaving differently. You know, like Subnautica right now, <laughs> the the very different ways I react when I'm under stress as opposed to just uh, playing a chill RPG for 50 hours or whatever. So we're going to go. First of all, surprise, we're just going to add a new time slot to the schedule temporarily. It's not I'm not doing this to myself long term. I, I'm, I'm going to stick with not having this overstuffed schedule, but just for now. Just because I want to make it work, because I saw a lack of opportunities in my schedule. Because here's the thing: my option is to. We'll get into this later, but let's see. What, let's show what the first. Let's see what the new game is. The surprise. The thing that's airing tomorrow at five o'clock. The new time slot after Yakuza Kiwami, and then that time slot will disappear the moment that game is over. Come on, you've heard the song, right? I've I've used the song. Multiple times, so many people have used the song. Ah, uh, somebody's hyped. I'm hyped. You, a lot, so many of you have no idea what this is. Hey, it's Deadly Premonition. Yeah. It's Deadly Premonition. You know, your favorite horror game. You couldn't wait for, for me to play. I might literally be the only person who gives a shit about this. Uh, some of you, at least a handful of you do. It's not exactly the most hyped up horror game ever. Very much a cult following, but this is the cursed game for me. I have tried to let's play this game three times, and I don't mean like I thought about it and the schedule didn't work out. I mean like we started it three times over the years since 2011. I'm gonna fucking do it. We're doing this. I'm gonna finally have a Deadly Premonition playthrough on my channel correctly and all that. Uh, it'll be mostly blind, don't worry, because you're thinking like, oh, he's played it already. That's bad. Uh, I played the beginning of it a few times, basically. <laughs> it basically is what happened. And also, it's been years, so most of that has even faded from memory intentionally at this point. But yeah, Deadly Premonition. Uh, if you don't like horror games, you're one of those people that's like, oh no, he's gonna play horror games and I'm all spooked out now. This is kind of not at the same time. It's horror aesthetic, but it's also, and it might still be genuinely scary to people that are not receptive to scary things and everything. But it's also a campy, weird, cult classic thing from a bizarre developer that is just... It's just noteworthy for its oddness. And I finally want to experience the full thing. And it's not short. That's why I need its own time slot. <laughs> so, Because it's going to be an all-month thing, I believe. But I'm excited to play Deadly Permission. Here's the full schedule. Boom. That yellow is not horror and the red is horror is the basic template here. This thing was kind of a mess to put together and I'm not really fully happy with it, but it kind of gets the idea together. Also, the definition of horror is super fucking iffy because pathologic is a horror... It's a horror-themed CRPG, kind of, or something like that. It's a survival game, it's an open-world RPG, and it's a horror game, but it doesn't have jump scares and you, you running from monsters generally. It's just that it is horrifying in, as a concept and as an aesthetic. But we've been playing it already, so I just left it as yellow because it's the existing slot, as opposed, so it doesn't, there's, no, there's no change to signify. Subnautica, most people wouldn't qualify as horror, but I, f it scares me more than anything else. I'm probably going to play this month, and it's only going to get scarier because I'm going to go deeper and deeper into what's got to be the worst, worse and worst shit. 
And uh, so that's going to become a horror slot regardless, even though I'm not count counting that one either. So even among the yellow slots, two of the yellow slots are kind of already horror games anyway, at least in my experience. So that's going on. So let's explain what's going on, on the screen, the weird stuff. So first of all, multiplayer? Question mark? Multiplayer has gone through changes, obviously. Uh, currently, the, I've recorded I've recorded plenty more footage already. But of like the four games that are going into the multiplayer slot right now, none of them are horror at the moment. Uh, I have Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, Overcooked 2, uh, Portal 2, Custom Maps uh, Co-op, and uh, of course, 428 Shibuya Scramble, whenever that's available. It come, That one comes and goes. Andrew is busy and lives across the world and goes on trips and so on. It, it's not canceled. Don't worry. It just it, it's, it's ready when it's ready. And it's not when it's not. Uh, those are all the current things. They're not horror in general. But I might sync up with somebody to play a horror game for October. And maybe that'll like take over the multiplayer slot for a little while and then return to our regular programming afterwards. That might happen, it might not. I'm doing something with different with Let's Tries. So let's explain my thought process here. This was my schedule. Like Pathologic, Let's Try, Multiplayer, Subnautica, Death's Gambit, Puzzle Game Slot, Yakuza. And I'm like, shit, that leaves no spaces for me to actually put a horror game into my schedule. The only one was Death's Gambit. Like, Death's Gambit will end midway through the month, because it's not a very long game, so it, it cannot last all of October. So after that, I can do a horror game, maybe like Silent Hill 2 or something. Uh, but that's like one, and I'm like, I want to ramp things up, not just do the same thing as last time mainly because one game a year is a little underwhelming, uh, and so on. But I wanted to also not just be shackled to this idea of like, because of course I probably want to play the next Silent Hill, because that's like, that makes sense, right? Play a Silent Hill game every year. If I skip Silent Hill during a particular year, then I'm just like, I'm disappointing the people that thought I would do that and stuff. And I also want to do it, but I don't want to just play Silent Hill. So I made up a new slot at the bottom for Deadly Premonition because it has special meaning to me as a game that just needs to fucking happen already for entirely personal reasons. It might not even do well on the channel, but I just want it to happen. I like I, I like that game even though I haven't actually played through the majority of it. It's just it's in my head as this weird thing, and I keep using the songs "Life Is Beautiful" and uh, "Comic Relief" from its soundtrack as a backing track for a bunch of like vlogs and update videos all the time. Including now, I probably, I assume, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I was playing Human Resource Machine, which should end on the, f the first. So, Cubiscape Paradox is going to follow up with that, which in itself is arguably horror-themed in its aesthetic. All the killing and the psychological things and actual jump scares, and there's always... There's almost always like a body dissection involved in the puzzles. Like, it's a, it's a relatively sl a chill, slow-paced escape room game, but it itself is, you know, kind of a horror thing. I probably should have had the red further left on that particular row, but whatever. Uh, so then my goal, my goal with the cube escape slot is, I mean, the puzzle slot, puzzle adventure slot, is to then do more horror games in that slot, but maintain the puzzle adventure game thing. I'm not going to go do away with the puzzle adventure thing. I'm just going to find ones that fit the aesthetic. They don't have to be scary. But I'm, you know, celebrating the Halloween aesthetic to some extent. Uh, two things as options come to mind. I think I know some escape room games that are kind of a little like Saw-like, where it's like a little bit more like this Resident Evil 7 escape room, where it's a little more of a horror escape room, kind of like Cuba's Gate Paradox. Might see some of that stuff, but if I can't think of other things, I know of a few... I definitely know of a few uh, horror aesthetic uh, adventure games. I think I know of one that where every single screenshot of it looks like it's a freaking like metal album cover and I think I also know one where and I could be misremembering this one but I think it's set in the I think it looks like it's set in the 50s with like letterman jackets and all this other shit uh, and it's just a normal society uh, kind of except every single person in it is like that guy's a zombie that guy's a demon that guy's a werewolf that guy's a vampire it's just a whole society made entirely of you know halloween creatures basically i'm like oh that's that's fun i've been meaning to play that one for a while uh it's, name doesn't come to mind right up now but it's on my list somewhere i'll find it it's fine uh that stuff i would imagine that Death Gambit or Let's Tries will be replaced by Silent Hill 2, one, of the, one or the other, and then another horror game will fill in somewhere else, and so on. Uh, let's explain the Let's Try slot. So, 
I was originally going to... The first thought, th thought that came to mind was just to be like, hey, we'll take a month off of Let's Tries, and that'll just become a horror slot, because I wanted another slot besides Death's Gambit and, and, so, and so on. Uh, but then I, I have one little roadblock, which is that I did promise to do the 10 requested Let's Tries uh, for the for Patreon, and I'm like, and I, want, and I, and I do want to honor that. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just going to, uh, last month I alternated between requested Let's Tries and ones that I chose by hand. This time I'm just going to do all 10 of them right off the bat. So October 1st through 10th are all going to be the requested Let's Tries from Patreon, and then the moment those run out, I start a horror game, and then that that'll just replace the slot for a bit. It's all temporary. It's an event, you know? We're just having some fun with this whole thing. I think I've explained all the slots, basically. Oh yeah, and how this will work is, uh... Horror games are known for being short. A decent number of them are like four hours long, which means that they'd be done in like eight parts. And as you imagine, like, for example, in the examples given of like Cuba's Gate Paradox or Let's Try and so on, you're talking 20 days or 25 days. So if one of them ends, I'm just gonna start another one. And we're just gonna keep going. And uh, if if it if one of them ends and it's still October, once it passes into November, that's the final horror game of each slot. And once that's over, then it goes back to normal, and we all transition back, and it's all the normal schedule again. And Deadly Premonition, just kind of regardless, I think, is going to just that slot will end when that game ends, whether that's in November or October or whatever. I just need that game to happen already. But yeah, so look forward to. Anywhere in the territory of four or more uh, horror games coming up Feel free to suggest them uh, here in the comments on this video try to keep them here So they're in a reviewable location where I can go back if I'm trying to think of ones I'm not going to turn this one over to the audience and let them Do a poll and because I, I think that especially in horror where there's less exposure that just leads to the just the least interesting options are gonna bubble to the top and because uh, they're just the popular ones, and I already know those ones anyway, so if I wanted to do those ones, I would just pick them. Uh, but I'm just gonna pick my own choices for all of this, but... I mean, you can make me aware of things. Especially, you can make me aware of, like, really good... any If you know any really good horror puzzle games, for example, or horror adventure games for me to keep in mind. Uh, both actually scary... Like, actually scary is a valid option, and just horror aesthetic is a valid option. Both are, both are fine. Uh, you can just make me aware of these things by commenting on them below to be like, hey, here's some examples, and then now I can consider those things, or I already knew about them, or whatever, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> from my perspective, especially if the multi if a multiplayer horror game starts, <laughs> literally every single slot is going to be horror of some kind, except Yakuza Kiwami, and that, that'll be the bastion of just always feel good swagger shit and that's just where you, where fun music plays and you beat up dudes and comical heat actions happen because i do i do more or less qualify uh classify subnautica and pathologic as horror themselves but we'll see and if you don't like this idea it's gonna go away because it's, it's just for a limited time and some of these slots will only be like this for like half of a month and so on uh nothing's being canceled for the sake of horror stuff happening except Technically about 20 let's tries I guess but I do I'm, I, my current schedule is I do let's tries every day all year There's 365 let's tries a year 345 let's tries is fine. You know, you know what I mean? It's fine. So here's my that's my plan I'm looking forward to it. It's just a fun little change of pace and it'll be a double change of pace because it'll We'll change pace midway through October into this whole thing and like it'll ramp up like the further into October It gets the more slots will be horror at the same time, whereas at the beginning it's sort of a staggered launch. And then once it's, it's November, then we transition away from that. So it's like, we get to have two status quo changes kind of kind of back to back. I think that's fun. Maybe it's devastatingly horrible and it's really bad for your channel. I don't know, but here we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching like always. Hope everyone thinks this is a fun idea. And uh, I'll see you next time. And also, a lot of the horror games, just so we know, I guess I should have said this already. I've already played Amnesia, a uh, machine for pigs, and uh, about some of the first Amnesia and uh, Penumbra Black Plague on the sad games. Uh, here on this channel, I've covered Lone Survivor, which is the two, uh, the 2D 
Silent Hill-like game. I've covered Alien Isolation. I've covered Soma. I've covered, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what are more horror games? Silent Hill, obviously. Uh, Resident Evil 7. I've covered a bunch of games. I did a one-off, I did a one-off video with Jordy Jordan of Resident Evil 6 a while ago. Bunch of videos. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a bunch of them. But yeah, definitely search the channels first, because you might just be pleasantly surprised to find that the Let's Play you're, Let's Play you're trying to request already exists and all that. Anyway guys, see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.